how Peter Cetera was very inspired to write the hit song Glory of Love for Karate Kid 2. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. It was only his second single as a solo artist, and it ended up being his biggest hit. Glory of Love was co-written by Cetera, David Foster, and his second wife, Diane. Though Foster was in there, he did not produce the song or Cetera's second album, Solitude Solitaire. That was Michael Omartian. Interestingly, Cetera did not finish the song until he was approached by the Karate Kid people. Well, actually, uh, David and I had messed around with the uh, kind of the chord changes, and then I totally forgot about it. And then uh, months later, one day, uh, the Karate Kid people came to me and asked me to write a song for the movie, and they showed me the movie, and I kind of resurrected these chord changes, and we kind of added a few things here and there to it, and then I uh, wrote the melody and the words for it. Peter Cetera actually got to see Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita reprise their roles as Daniel and Miyagi long before any of us did, because he needed context to get the project done. Well, I went to see the movie. They, you know, they show you, you know, rushes of the movie and where they think they want the songs at and everything. Sometimes it's easier because, you know, you, you, you have the opportunity to know what it's supposed to be about rather than sitting there waiting and trying to think up something, you know. And, uh, you know, Karate Kid, they, they happen to mention Honor three or four times in about a 130 second sequel and that kind of stuck with me. And then the, the Knights nice in Shining Armor, that. That was always something that I was always dying to use in a song, and it all kind of fit together for that movie. Peter Zatera sang lead vocals on 30 of the 41 singles that Chicago released while he was in the band, including two of their three number one songs, If You Leave Me Now in 1976 and Chicago 10, and Hard to Say I'm Sorry from the David Foster era and Chicago 16 in 1982. As a solo act, he had two number one hits, the song we're talking about, Glory of Love, and the Amy Grant duet, Next Time I Fall in Love, both from his second album, Solitude Solitaire, which peaked on the Billboard charts at number 23. Cetera says the hardest part about having a number one song, and if you think about this, you'll get it, is watching it leave the top spot. Oh, well, of course, yeah, you always, you know, you always think that the song is going to stay up there forever and uh, of course you're always disappointed when it when it comes down to one yeah peter satara still does a lot of shows in fact he's touring germany right now but as we reported in the summertime he really shut the door to any possibility of a reunion with his old band chicago you can go to petersatara.com for more details we'll have more of our interview with satara coming up next friday and i want to thank steve burgess for donating that interview to us. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Check out all the videos we've got. It's like the history of rock and roll. I'm John Bone from Rock History Music.